<laughs> Way to play fetch. Okay, now open it up. with the snack scope winds up in the journal. I have more for you to do, but Wambus is scaring all the snacks away. You'll have to come back later. Until then, you should get Philbo out of here. <sighs> Let's get this over with, buddy. Here we are. Hoo-hoo-wee! It's a regular old ghost town. Expected. Without Lisbert around, nobody would want to come back here. Oh, it's not much, but it's still home. Let's get moving. I'm sorry. I guess you're not gonna get that interview with Lisbert just yet. Really? Me? I mean, if you want to. Um, <laughs> ask away, I guess. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a um, deputy mayor. I don't know. I'm not good at most stuff, but I like to help out. Oh, they're great. I mean, they taste good and they make everybody happy, so what's not to love? Oh, Lisbert and me go way back. Lisbert was, is awesome. She always knew what to do and she brought out the best in all of us. She'd leave me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. One day, Lisbert went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But uh, that didn't last long. I mean, I wasn't really in charge. Nobody took me seriously. But as long as Lisbert came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. There was a big fight, and then an earthquake, and then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. 
couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbeth saw in me. Uh, sorry, buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbeth might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody listened to me, but, but you? You're pretty good at stuff, and, well, nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Once they're here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. You should find Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Befica, I guess. Anyway, I'll be here if you need any advice. All right, good luck, buddy. Hey, how's the journey? An interview? All right, but keep it short. I got work to do. Wambus Troubleham, farmer. To start a farm? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. Pesky, tasty, and confusing. Well, they ain't animals, and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw, or they turn to mush. Now I call that confusing. Well, when Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks, I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. That weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. <laughs> Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. Triffany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. It's none of my dang business. <sighs> well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. It doesn't take much to knock them all down. Uh, respectable type, Elizabeth. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again. Or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. Oh, that's the town doctor. You know, Egabel, Liz's partner. I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Could have got thrown in a volcano. Seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now, back to work.
balloon? Huh. You know, it, it looks just a little bit, um, exploded. But I'm sure we can patch that up eventually. Oh, it's yours? Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I'd love to fly it someday. Gee, you really got them all! I knew I picked the right Grumpus. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all, even if I don't believe in the Grumpa Cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Befica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. <laughs> that Wambus guy is married? But his wife totally wouldn't come farm with him. So tragic. Peace out. stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to and tell me. If you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. Farming didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted. But I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Triffy, I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. See, Nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce, but I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt like plants. Well, half of them look like fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before, fresh and gooey-like. Seems promising to me. 
All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough. <laughs> Wambus has a fake cactus wife? Like it wasn't prickly enough already. 10 out of 10 perf dirt. Uh, Snacksburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town, bestie. 